All the other aliens laugh at me. They say I'll never make it. But what do they know? I have made it this long. On my own! All alone on my own I have made it. They know nothing. This is my land to traverse. No one has made it as far as I have. At least that I know of. Who knows? Maybe I'll meet another alien like me one day. Oh, at least I made it out of that market. That's a little too crowded for me. I do better on my own. On my own. I hear bells. What are these bells doing here? Is it all in my head? These bells. We've killed so many people. So Such many. a desolate land. Desolate indeed. There's nothing for me here. Nothing at all. I still know what I know. No, you don't. How can that be? How can anyone tell me any different? I know everything. Oh, I need to leave this land. I need to get off this cold rock. Oh, nothing could change this for me now. Oh, no. Running out of places to look. The market it only brings me so much. There's no meaning of life out here. You need to find no a way meaning out. of life. Find a way out. Who is this man? Go this man I just found. Go he ceases to breathe. I must travel I'm forward. Oh no. This is desolate. That cannot be my fate out here. There is no escape. I need to survive on this land. No, you don't. Oh, how will I make it through? Survive. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Another hello, alien, hello. fellow alien has hello, come hello. by. Are you friendly, sir? Ow! Ow! Take Stop that! Stop me, sir. I'm a friendly alien. <laughs> don't make me angry, please. Go away. I don't like to be angry. Ah! Help me! Ah, somebody kill me! Oh, this hurts so much! Help! Oh, how this pleases me. Please! Help me! Sometimes in this world, stop screaming. You must make sure the moment. Choices no, that no. help you stay alive. Oh, no. oh, no. Sometimes that choice oh, oh, so is to take oh, another no. body is going to good use. Existence. Oh, no. help me. If that's what it takes <laughs> to survive, <laughs> that is what I've had to do for Please. centuries. Please let oh, me be, sweet sir. goodness. This brings me so much happiness. I get to live another day. You make your choices wisely. Oh, cracks and stings. The pain. Oh, oh, goodness, sir. I have feed. I have fed. I have achieved victory! But this is so wrong. So wrong. Hmm. Where to go? Where to? Go! This mystery of life, uncertain of what comes ahead, 
scared of what lies before. What have we done with our lives? These, these lives in which we live. Tis a scary sight. Scary indeed. Very, very scary. Wondering where to go. It's all a mystery. An eternal mystery. What do we know? The fight scene is here. Gather your swords and your men and hit the battlefield. We will solve this the only way we know how with our violent arms. Now I'm in the town, but I'm lost. Excuse me, please. I did not mean to bump into you. Let me through. I have business here. I am looking for a man. I'll haunt you. I am looking for a man who, who happens to be looking for himself. Can you help me? Help me find this man. This man that is lost at sea. He has returned though. He is somewhere in town. I like this music. This place makes me feel alive. So much to sing and dance for. Everyone here is having a great time. Oh, this town, oh, that guy's begging for money. He's probably not having the greatest of times. Those two guys are pushing each other. Oh, someone just pushed me. What did I do, sir? Please leave me be. Sir, sir, I ask of you, have you seen this man? This man that I have been looking for all this time. He's lost in this journey. Wherever shall he go, wherever shall I go? I know we must go to the same place. Lost in town. He, he made it back from sea. One morning ago. But now I believe he's looking for me as well. Oh, hey, hello, sir. May I help you? <laughs> what are you doing? Stay out of my pocket, sir. I, get out of here, car. Let me get mugged in peace. Oh, he punched me. Oh, my eyeball. Oh, no. Everyone's just passing by. That girl is laughing. Everyone's laughing at me. I got punched in the eye. Help me. Well, that was eventful. This does not work as well as I had planned, for I am lost. Lost and alone! <laughs> for this to work, I'll have to be very... sneaky. I did it! Hey! Uh-oh. Get out of here! I'm gonna think quick. Uh, special delivery! Ooh, what is it? I don't know. You liar! Bail! Get back here, no. you! Ah. <sighs> Good morning, y'all. How you doing? Alone in this world. This world of lies. So alone, yet you have no idea where to go. Whatever shall you do in this world, this world in which you are so alone, how can you cope with the madness, the madness of this world? It is unspeakable, an unspeakable evil, so evil to live amongst these demons in this night. All 
alone in the world. The world alone in the world. So monotonous and deceiving. How will I ever make my way through this time? This delicate time of life. So alone. The echo in that I hear. The echo in my mind. It screams to me. Whatever will I do? What is this? I'm flying! Flying so high! High in the sky! I feel on top of the world! Somebody understand how I feel! This feeling I feel right now! It is amazing! The most amazing feeling in the world! I'm flying! I can't believe it! So high! Oh. Wow! Well, that's the end of the show! I hope you, en- I hope- I hope you enjoyed it! Best of luck on your journey! not deny that. It is time for me to eat, but I have nothing to eat. How will I make it through this day? How, I tell you? How? What? What? Well, Kill that creature. That creature. I can't creature. just eat that. Yes, you can. That is an animal. They have life, too. But your life is more important. They do not need to die so that I obtain nourishment. Yes, they do. Eat. Eat. I am too hungry. This is true. So true. So eat. Oh, what to eat. Uh, Will I have to sacrifice this animal just so I can make it? It's your best bet at survival. Eat. I don't know if that's the right answer. Maybe I should go a little longer. That is a mistake. 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 It is getting dark out here. So dark. Whatever is the plan. We must begin our travels. travels. I can only last for so long in this cold. This cold, desolate land that is my home. Where shall I go to obtain heat? I mean, that is up to you. Up to you. I can help you. Do not explain this to me. Fine, fine. Go. Oh, wherever shall I go? Home. You are not correct, sir. Sir, you are not correct. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Be the, be the. I mustn't do that. I must not. It's time to find the be Somebody. Anybody who's here. If I make it to the market, I will gain nourishment. But until then, I have nothing. I am lost in this land. Nowhere to go. No home. I have nowhere to go. Whatever shall I do? Sacrifice that creature. Eat. I guess I must eat. Good. Forgive me! Now. Forgive me now! There's no need for forgiveness. Oh, nourishment. Oh, sweet nourishment. Feed, 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 feed. I feel defeated. I feel so alone. This animal is bringing me nourishment. But now he is all gone. 
Whatever shall I do? Cow, cow, cow. Life is tough. And sometimes you gotta do what you need to do. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Agonizing screams heard as a black sky is shown. Camera pans down to a building, surrounded by Ron's tribesmen. In here, exclaims one of the tribesmen. The door is kicked down, revealing Ron viciously attacking and killing one of his fellow tribesmen, eating their flesh. The tribesmen tackle Ron to the ground and tie him up. They then proceed to put him in a pod and shoot him all the way to Earth's moon. The pod crash lands on the moon. Roll intro music. Two years later. Slow pan right to left of moon ground. Thoughts speaking in whispers. Panning ground leads to feet of Ron, walking left. Pan leads up to Ron's face, zooms out, Ron walking across the moon. You can't keep living like this. You need to rest. You need food. You need clothes too. You'll starve if you don't eat soon. Are you even listening? I am hungry. Then listen. You'll need to hunt to catch prey. Kill the next creature we find. You need nourishment. All creatures have life. I shouldn't hurt them. I can make it to the market in three days' time. You don't have that much time. We haven't eaten in months. Survival is different than killing for fun. You must learn to understand that. Most of these creatures starve. What makes me any different? You can choose to hunt. They don't have the same mind as you. So they deserve to die for not being as evolved? That doesn't seem right. It's not ideal, but it's what needs to happen if you plan to survive. Ron sits on a rock to contemplate and rest. This hunger is slowing me down. Which is why you need to feed. Ron looks up to the night sky staring at the stars. There has to be a better place for me than here. A shooting star flies by lighting up the night sky. Ron smiles. Haven't seen one of those in a while. This place can be beautiful to some, Ron. You can't live on this rock forever, though. We need a ship. Ships are expensive. I can't just acquire one. I know. We can steal it. We don't need to steal. If we save what we find, we can hitch a ride with someone. Get to the market, then we can figure it out. Ron scans the sky for planets and fixates on one. Looks like Earth. That planet. Let's go there. Ron sits up and prepares to continue his journey. He notices someone walking in the distance. Look, a drifter. Maybe he has food. Ron gets up slowly and stares towards the drifter. Drifter is far out to the left. Ron waves at the drifter, beckoning him over. The drifter sees and begins walking to Ron. The drifter approaches. Hello there. Hello, sir. Are you headed away from the market? Yes, I am. They aren't too kind to those who can't afford their wares, though. I have heard as much. I will have to make arrangements for meals. I have little money. We need more money. Take his. Just ask for some. Don't be a thief. Ron silently contemplates the instructions. If you have money, then I need you to hand it over. The drifter pulls out a paralyzer from his jacket pocket and points it at Ron. Sir, please, I need it for food. It's not much. It'd be almost useless to you. Hand it over. Wait. Glance to your left without moving. 
Ron glances to the left quickly, then refocuses on the drifter. The drifter then looks left. Charge! Uh Ron tackles the drifter Uh to the ground, making him drop his paralyzer. Ron then begins to tear apart the drifter and starts eating him. Ron takes off the drifter's jacket before feeding. The drifter screams in agony as Ron feeds off him. Yes! Good job! Bones can be heard snapping as Ron eats every last bit of the drifter. The screams subside. Ron gets up, wipes his mouth, and puts on the jacket. Take the paralyzer, we'll need it. No, we won't. It paralyzes its victim. That could be useful. No, leave it. Take it, Ron. It will help me defend myself. I will take it, but I may never use it. Ron puts the paralyzer in the jacket pocket, then continues his journey to the market. Ron is walking left in silence. The creatures appear. This sickness is getting worse. We can't live like this forever. There is no cure. Fighting is the only option. But how? It is within us. Embrace it. It is part of you now. There has got to be a way around it. Am I cursed to walk this land slowly turning into a monster? I want a better life. I can't give in. Your strength grows every time you feed on your tribesmen's flesh. We could be immortal. Innocent beings are getting harmed this way. It needs to stop. Spreading it is not the answer. Think of the power. Ron looks down at his hands, tightening them into fists, smiling at the thought of immortality. He then releases his grip and lowers his hands to his sides. The strength comes from not giving in. I won't be a cannibal. It is what got me banished to this desolate rock in the first place. Everyone here is sick, and there is almost nothing here. As the sickness consumes the planet, more will be sent here. It could bring a whole new world to our existence. A world led by violence and fear. That is no world that I would like to live in. We don't have many options. Leaving could just spread the sickness to other worlds. It is worse than staying here. The only thing worse than living with this sickness is spreading it. If I learn to control the cravings of destruction and cannibalism, I can make it elsewhere. I know I have the strength to do so. The cravings will win every time, Ron. We can choose where to feed and who to feed off of. If we kill our victim, we can't spread it. We need somewhere with more life to live properly. We can make deals with vendors and other creatures for food. This place may be the best place for us. This place will become more and more dangerous as the sickness becomes stronger. I fear leaving is the safest route. I can try to help you stay docile, but it will be tough. A three-eyed cat creature runs past Ron. Ron stops to admire the creature. The cat stops and sits by what looks to be a dark ground. Ron curiously walks towards the cat's position. The cat stays put, sitting and staring off into the distance. Ron stops, about 20 feet to the right of the cat, and notices that the ground is what used to be a crater. The destruction here is amazing. It looks like lava used to flow here. It looks like there was a massive collision. Could this be the Sea of Rains? The ground looks like dried lava. Yes, this is Mare Imbrium, also known as the Sea of Rains. The cat looks at Ron for a few seconds, then runs away to the left. Ron sits down and sighs. (sighs) I need a companion. You You have us. A companion that isn't destroying me from the inside. It's not the same. We're here to help, Ron. Trust us. Ron gets up and begins walking left in silence. I feel the ground shaking beneath my feet. Is this one of these moonquakes I've heard about? Yes, this is a moonquake. They can last hours. Luckily, it's a small one. Ron notices something off in the distance to his left. What is that off in the distance? It looks like a home of sorts. 
How could it possibly be built here? These materials don't even exist on the moon. There's someone on the front porch. Let's go say hi. I don't want to be a bother, but I do need to pass. I'll just say hi. As Ron walks past the home, an old lady is yelling for her pet. She greets Ron when she sees him. Yoo-hoo! See ya! Come on home now! See ya! Excuse me, young man! Have you seen my Thea? She's out here somewhere. Hello, ma'am. I saw an orange cat-like creature a while back. He ran back this way. That's my Thea. I hope he returns soon. How'd you get out here in the middle of nowhere? I was sent here. There is a sickness plaguing my planet, unfortunately. Hmm. I too was banished from my home planet. The sickness is everywhere. I have it too, young one. You are welcome here. What is your name? My name is Ron. Welcome, Ron. Everyone here calls me Luna. You can call me that as well. Please come in. Luna turns and goes inside. Ron follows. The house is full of goods that aren't obtainable anywhere on the moon. Luna sits in her rocking chair as Ron examines the house. Ron begins sniffing the wooden wall. You're a curious one, aren't you? Ask her where she got all this. How did you acquire all of this? It all looks so foreign. Ah, I'll tell you, child. Some small items can be acquired at the market, but most of this is imported illegally from planets all over the universe. There are alien mafias in most galaxies, including ours, and my brother is part of it. You can see there are many life forms like us that have gathered and created a business. A business that works right under the nose of the lawful organizations of the universe. The Mafia plants their members on planets throughout our galaxy that blend into each planet's society and acquire jobs and businesses that work with the materials we need such as woods, metals, and medicines. They also do missions to gas planets and forbidden zones. Stealthily, they get the materials they need and bring them back to the leaders of their Mafia. The leaders then distribute these goods to other planets for a price. A hefty price, however. They also work as transportation between worlds and can be hired for protection. My brother gave me almost everything in this home. When he found out I was not only sick but banished to Earth's moon, he did everything to help make me more comfortable. This mafia isn't all bad, though. They're even working on a cure, but sadly there is no cure in sight. At least not yet. Wow. I have heard rumors of this mafia, but never knew if it truly existed. Until now. Yes, the mafia is real. They look out for their members, but it is dangerous work. Sadly, a lot of them don't make it. I'm thinking of making my way to this Earth planet. This moon will get more and more dangerous as more of the sick population gets sent here. You should leave too. I love this place. Even if a cure is found, I may stay here. I'm not prepared to stay here longer than I have to. It is a nice moon, though. Does your brother know if there's any chance at a cure arriving soon? No progress yet, young one, but I'll be here. Check in any time and I'll give you any news I may have. We need to get back to our travels, Ron. Wrap it up. Thank you for your information, ma'am. But I am afraid I need to continue my journey. I've got business at the market. I understand, Ron. Oh, wait! I have something for you! Luna gets out of her rocking chair and walks into the other room. She returns with a green backpack. Take this! It will aid you on your journey! Luna hands Ron the backpack. Go! And be safe! Thank you! Ron heads out of the house and off the porch. Luna follows to the end of the porch. Best of luck in your travels, Ron. And remember, you are always welcome here. Ron turns back to Luna and yells, Thank you! Ron then turns back to the left and continues his travels. She was crazy. She was nice. We can't go back there. She's sick too. She'll eat us. Ron looks down while still walking. This is true. I can't trust her. Trust no one, Ron. You're on your own now. 
Small moment of silence as Ron travels. I feel the sickness growing stronger. I crave blood. That is a common symptom. The cravings will subside. They get worse, however. I can't live like this. Oh, what is to become of me? Calm down, Ron. Save your energy. No one should have to feel this way. I am in pain. Oh, so alone. Alone and on my own. Whatever shall I do? Ron, seriously, get a hold of yourself. We'll be at the market soon enough. If only I didn't have this sickness, I wouldn't be so down. Down with this sickness, I say! Down with it! Ron, I have a song to show you later, but in the meantime, calm yourself. I need to rest my feet. Ron sits on the ground, then sighs. I need to regain my composure. I need to find the good in being here. I can't spread this sickness, that's one plus. And besides losing my sanity, some time alone is nice. I think I can make this work. Until I can leave, at least. Good. We're gonna be here a while. But how long is up to you? We won't get anywhere laying around. Ron stares forward, zoned out, not hearing his thoughts. Suddenly, an LTP occurs to his right, shooting out neon green, red, and blue lights. Sounds like a fart. (laughs) Ugh! What was that? Moon fart. It's called a lunar transient phenomenon, LTP for short. Gas held in cavities deep within the moon rise and escape through the crust of the moon, creating a strange light anomaly. Ah, it smells! Yeah, moon fart. We should capture it in a jar and sell it. Some lunatic would actually buy moon fart in a jar. (laughs) Ron sighs again, then gets up from the ground and begins walking left. I wonder if I should go to another galaxy. There has to be a cure somewhere in the universe. Keep in contact with Luna. She will have all the information we need. Maybe her brother can transport us. It wouldn't be free. And trust me, you don't want to owe any favors to this mafia. We can handle a couple favors. It's not worth it. We can network once we make it to the market. Someone will be able to help us. I don't have enough money to pay a stranger for a lift. We could join the Mafia. The sick are welcome in their organization. That is a bad idea. I agree. That sounds too dangerous. An Earth Rover zips forward near Ron and stops. What is that? A rover from Earth. It helps Earthlings study planets and moons. Let's break it. We could sell the scraps when we get to the market. That's not right. A flash occurs as the rover takes a picture of Ron. It's not living, Ron. I'll have to agree the scraps sell for a high price at the right vendors. I guess I do need the money. Then break it. Cut to the view of the camera from the rover. It shows Ron slowly inching towards it. It slowly moves in reverse. It then shows Ron charge it. It frantically reverses trying to escape. Still in the view of the camera, Ron smacks the camera and the screen goes dark. Cuts to a guy sitting in a chair staring at a computer screen with a troubled look on his face. The guy exclaims, Hmm. It then cuts back to Ron. Ron stuffs the broken rover into his backpack. Good job. This will sell for a decent price. There is silence as Ron continues walking left. The cravings seem to get stronger every time I feed. One of the vendors will most likely sell blood packs. A few blood packs could last us a year. Days are slower here. I don't see them lasting a full year. You only need a sip at first. We can help you ration out your intake. You will eventually need more and more as time goes on. If I don't slowly feed these cravings, I won't get sicker with time. You must feed the cravings. If you don't, the sickness will eat you from the inside. It's true. You're going to need those blood packs if you don't want to harm any more creatures. That rover could get us at least three blood packs. 
You can trade the rover for blood packs and spend what little currency you have left on regular food, which will feed the cravings for a little bit. As you feed on the blood, normal food will do less and less, however. This scares me. It's, it's your only, only option. Ron stops, looks down, and sighs. Ron looks forward again. <sighs> then it is what I must do. Ron walks left. Ron kicks a moon rock in front of him, sending it flying. The rock lands in a small hole. Ten points to Heiselblarf. <laughs> <laughs> credits music fades in. Roll credits. 